Shows Jerry Stiller, Barry Tyler Moore, Brittany Murphy, Lou Perry, and John Cazell setting up a dinner table together. Jerry, okay, my dear family, my sister Estelle is coming to dinner, so be on your best behavior. Murphy, what's that supposed to mean? Stiller, like me, my sister is very politically correct, so don't you dare change your assigned pronouns without giving me forewarning. For the record, sweetie, you're still a her, correct? Murphy. Yes. Stiller. And honey, you're still a her. More. Yes, dear. Gazelle. Dad, please don't call Mom honey. You're assuming that her self-worth is tied to how sweet you perceive her to be. Stiller. Thanks for the reminder. And you and your significant other son... You're both still hers, correct? Perry. That's right, Daddy-O. And you're still a he, right? Stiller. For now. But I'll give you forewarning if that changes before Estelle comes over. Murphy. And Dad, my boyfriend Michael is coming over too. Stiller throws a plate against the wall. More. What was that for, dear? Stiller. Sorry, honey. I'm still shell-shocked from the last time she brought home a boyfriend. Didn't he turn out to be a Jehovah's Witness or something? Murphy throws a plate against the wall and says, Dad, my last boyfriend wasn't a Jehovah Witness. You acted weird because he was... Mary Tyler Moore throws a plate against the wall. Gazelle. Mom, what was that for? Moore. Oh, I get so upset when your sister yells at your father. Moore turns to Murphy and says, Dear, your dad wasn't uncomfortable because your boyfriend was African American. Perry throws a plate against the wall. Perry. Now, Mom, don't you dare call a person of color an African American. You're presuming that their identity is tied to their genetic heritage, and further, you're assuming they still want to be referred to as American despite the fact that Donald Trump was once president. Knock on the door. Stiller, I'll get it. Stiller opens the door, and it's Michael K. Williams. Stiller, do you identify as a male, sir? Williams walks past Stiller and takes Brittany Murphy in his arms and kisses her and says, Tell your pops Omar doesn't respond to white men. Kazal throws his plate against the wall and yells, Sir, I don't care if you're with my sister or not. Don't you dare assume that my father identifies as a male without asking first. Not responding to white men due to systematic white privilege, that I understand. Knock on the door. Moore. I'll get it. Moore opens the door and it's Lucille Ball. Stiller. Okay, everybody, it's my sister Estelle. How are you, Estelle? Ball. Well, I'm doing okay. But who let the bleep in here? And live from Tom's phone, we're not alive. It's Saturday Night Live, starring an ever-evolving cast that is unionized and refuses to allow their names to be mentioned until their demands are met. Musical guest, Shannon Hoon. And your host, Estelle Harris. Ladies and gentlemen, Estelle Harris. Applause, applause, applause. Harris. Thank you. I'm happy to be hosting. I lived a long, wonderful life, and I'm very grateful. I was an actress for years in plenty of commercials. In fact, I once did 23 in one year. But most of you probably remember me best as George Costanza's mom, Estelle, on Seinfeld. Applause, applause, applause. I want to thank Jerry, Larry, and everyone involved with Seinfeld, as it was the role of a lifetime, and I had a wonderful time making it. Imagine me and you. I do. I think about your day and night. It's only right. Harris. What's that? Jerry Stiller comes 
comes out and sings. To think about the girl you love and hold her tight. So happy together. Harris. Jerry Stiller, everybody. My husband on Seinfeld. The Jew hug. Applause, applause, applause. Stiller. Welcome to the afterlife, babe. I made some dinner plans, and I figured afterward we'd... Harris. Sorry, Jerry. I already made plans. Stiller. Plans? Are you kidding? You just got up here. Harris. Why don't you mind your own business? Stiller. Mind my own business? Why, I have a mind to give you a piece of my mind. Robert Redford comes out. Applause, applause, applause. Redford comes up and hugs Estelle and gives her a kiss on the cheek. Redford. Hey, babe. Is that Jewish guy over there giving you a hard time? Harris. Oh, no, Rob. Don't worry about him. I just know him from Seinfeld. Jerry rolls his eyes and leaves the stage while grumbling. Redford. So we're still on for the gangbang tonight, right? Harris. You bet your ass. As Redford leaves, Harris says, We have a great show tonight. Shannon Hoon of the band Blind Melon is here. So pray for no rain. So we can pour some tea for two. And speak our point of view. It's not saying. 